Okay, so I'm just gonna slap out a really quick little video just in regards to mechanical advantage uh, on uh, different uh, winching setups, okay? And this stuff's really basic, but there's a few people on the internet who claim to be engineers. Uh, they're telling myself and other qualified trainers that we're wrong um, and that we've got no idea what we're talking about and this is not a mechanical advantage uh, at all. Um, now, you know, it's the usual, oh, you're just a YouTuber and you're, you've got no qualifications and I'm an engineer, blah, blah. Well, I'm not an engineer, but I do have the specific qualifications for this subject, both in the government sector and in the civilian sector, having a full cert for and pretty much every four wheel drive training course, including the instructor's course and uh, four, complex four wheel drive operations course, uh, which is what this sort of revolves around specifically. So in this video, just going to be a quick rundown about these simple mechanical advantages. We're going to ignore the friction loss uh, in the system and any inertia. We'll take that to sim just to simplify it, but here we go. Okay, just excuse the crew drawing. So this is our load. Doesn't matter if this is in the vertical plane or the horizontal plane. Doesn't matter whether we're talking about forces or weight in regards to this. Just to simplify it, we're talking a thousand kilos. That's our anchor point dangling from the ceiling. That's our load. In this scenario, it's going to be 1000 kilograms. So uh, every action has an equal op opposite reaction. Okay, so 1000 kilograms of weight and 1000 kilograms of uh, weight hanging off our anchor point there. Right. Okay, we change our setup just slightly. The weight on our weight here is still 1,000 kilograms. The weight on the anchor point is still 1,000 kilograms. Again, it comes down to that equal and opposite reaction, 1,000 kilograms at both ends. We've now split up the weight between two separate lines, okay? So we've divided that up, shared the weight. So uh, excluding the angles, let's say, let's call it 500 kilos, 500 kilograms. Now, if you can't grasp that and you're an engineer, Look, yeah, look. Okay, so this is just a slightly slight change on the last configuration. So uh, we're going to make this a casualty vehicle. That's going to be our tree. These going to, this is going to be our winch line, one single winch line. It goes around a pulley. It's still the same situation, right? The weight is divided or the force is divided up between these two lines equally. We've shared the load roughly equally. In this case, 1,000 kilos shared is 500 each side. Now, what happens if we start reeling this winch in? Well, it's 500 kilos of load on the winch. Now, again, if you can't grasp that, don't watch any further. Okay, so this looks complicated, but it's not really as complicated as it looks. It's just what's called a Spanish Burton. Okay, it's just a slight uh, adjustment on what we've just done. So again, 1,000 kilograms here. 1,000 kilograms of our, of our anchor point there, which is our equal and opposite reaction. Now, our original 500 kilo line is now going to another second line, okay? This, in this case, this will be a winch extension line. This is our actual winch line, which goes around the pulley back to the vehicle and divides that 500 kilos up to now 250 and 250. Now, how many times does 250 go into 1,000? four to one now of course that's excluding your uh, friction losses now I just want to be clear the pulleys do not need to move in order to achieve this mechanical advantage and what seems to get people confused is the fact that they aren't moving but what happens if you turn it around this way and the vehicle is staying stationary and this is the load that has to move well all the pulleys are now moving aren't they exactly the same thing it's no different you've just turned it around Okay, so hopefully that clears it up. I think um, people are still going to struggle with it because these are the same people that are just arguing that the sky isn't blue, um, even when they've been proven wrong with load cells repeatedly uh, by people who have the equipment to do it. I don't have it, unfortunately, but um, hopefully that little uh, that little draw up there I did um, makes that clear.